Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB. In today's video, we have a complete guide on how you can customize your lock screen in iOS 16. So this is hands down the biggest update to the lock screen experience we've ever had on iPhone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you every single thing that's new. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. So obviously the first thing is picking a new wallpaper. Inside of wallpaper settings, if you click on add new wallpaper, you're gonna notice this UI is completely new in iOS 16. So when you're in here, depending on which wallpaper you choose, you are gonna have a few different options in terms of customizing that image. So take for example, this default iPhone 14 Pro wallpaper. If I choose it, you can see there's some labeling here at the bottom and I can actually swipe between different styles of this wallpaper. And you can actually do this for most of the wallpapers in iOS 16. So take for example, this emoji one, uh, this was created by the system, it looks like it's some tennis balls, but you can change the style of this this emoji wallpaper just by swiping between the different styles as you can see here. I'll show you one more example. So if we click on the astronomy wallpaper, by swiping we can change from the solar system to the moon and get a few different angles of the moon and the earth as well. Keep in mind when you choose your own photo as a wallpaper, when you swipe it's just going to add a filter on top of your image. So we have natural, we have black and white, we have Duotone, and we also have Color Wash. And as you can see, it is kind of changing up the font on the clock. We're gonna cover all of that coming up. So once you select an image that you wanna use as your wallpaper, the first thing that's gonna happen is the system is going to try to pull out any defined subject in that photo and remove it from the background. The reason it does this is to enable this really cool depth effect as you can see over the clock. You can actually change the intensity of this depth effect by pinching in on the image as you can see here. If you're not a fan of this effect, however, you can also turn it off if you click on the menu icon on the bottom right. Keep in mind that this depth effect also works on some of the stock iOS 16 wallpapers as well. And we also have some expanded functionality for this menu icon when you are using different styles for the wallpaper. So let's pick this Duotone one for example. If I click the menu icon now, you can see we have an additional option called Style Color. And I can pick between 12 different colors that I can apply to this image. And as you can see, it gives it a really unique look. So you can really dial it in and get the exact style that you're going for in iOS 16. So we've pretty much covered all the controls at the bottom of the screen, and now we're gonna work our way up, and we're gonna start with this all new section which lives under the time. We can now have widgets on our lock screen in iOS 16. So if you click on this add widgets box, you can see we have the widget gallery for the lock screen. And at the top, you're gonna have some suggested widgets from the system, and you can also scroll through and see all of the available widgets from the apps you have on your iPhone. A few of the widgets that I like to use every day on my iPhone include the batteries widget, I also like to have my activity, and also the weather is kind of nice to have as well. You can also edit some of these widgets depending on what they are. So take for example this batteries widget, if I add it right here, you can see it's showing my iPhone's battery level, but if I want this to show my watch's battery level, I can actually tap on it and I can change the device right here. So some of these widgets you can change if you click on them. So another important thing I should note is you are limited in terms of how much space you have to work with for the widgets. So the max amount of widgets you can have is four if they are the small size, but if you wanna use one of the large widgets, you do have to remove two of the small ones as you can see here. So next up, let's move one space up and now cover the clock. We do have so many options in terms of customizing the clock face here in iOS 16. So first off, you'll notice there's a globe icon on the top left corner of this edit sheet, and we can choose between a few different uh, symbols for how you choose to do your timekeeping. I'm just gonna keep it at the classic Arabic. That's probably what most of you are going to do as well. You can also pick between eight different fonts. I'll show you all of these. So this thin one is, I believe, the default one from iOS 15, and all of the rest of them are new. So let me know in the comments what your favorite font is for the lock screen. I'm stuck between the classic iOS 15 one and this really cool stylized one. So let me know your thoughts down below. And then finally at the bottom, you can see we have options in terms of choosing a color for our clock face. And this is also going to change the color of all the other details on the lock screen as well. So this first option is kind of a transparent option and this is going to match the color of your current wallpaper. 
you can see we have a few different preset options from the system and you can fine tune all of these preset colors to whatever you want. If you scroll all the way to the end, you can see we do have access to the entire color wheel. So you can really fine tune and really get that exact specific color that you want for your clock face. And then moving to the very top of the lock screen, we also have this area with the date. And most people don't know that you can actually edit this. I think this is probably the most overlooked part of the iOS 16 lock screen. You can even add third party widgets to this tiny section up here as well. So this is kind of nice if you want to have some quick glanceable information. You can't get as much information as you can in the widgets down below here, but it is nice that you can have additional information above the clock. So for me, I sometimes like to put my next calendar event right above the clock, and this is really convenient for me. So now that you've watched our entire guide on how to customize your lock screen on iOS 16, you should be able to make the ultimate lock screen personalized for you. I really love what Apple has done with the wallpaper and lock screen experience in iOS 16. I've said it a million times before, but when Apple did this, I really feel like they added some life back into the iPhone. So now what I want you guys to do, since you made it this far in the video, I want you to head into the comments and tell me, do you use an image as your wallpaper or do you prefer something more abstract like this? I love to hear what you guys have to say, so make sure to tell me down below. So with all that said, my name is Michael with IDB. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time.